Alrighty boys, so today we gonna be showing you how to fillet pretty much any type, any type of fish besides any that has an abnormal bone structure. So just grab this damn fish. I'll show you how you can do that. Okay, so that's the large mouth bass, see? So you're gonna flop a little bit while you're doing this. So just gonna be ready for that. But you're gonna wanna hold them by the head. Start don't start from the belly, start from the back. Start back, all the back is always on top. I don't care what else people tell you. You always start with the back on top. It's just the easiest and simplest way. I'm about to knock this fucker out with a rock pretty soon. So, you're gonna get cut under the fin and up behind the head. Down to the backbone. Angle your knife and ride that backbone. You getting these shots back here? Get back here. You're gonna ride that backbone to get out to the anal fin, and then you can poke through. Ankle your knife downwards. Get all the meat. Then you're gonna cut down the rib cage. Get all the belly meat and cut it off. And there's a perfect fillet. No meat wasted on this one side. Now let's go to the other. Do the same thing. Cut behind the head. Now the second side's always a little bit trickier. But you're gonna still cut up behind the head all the way down to the backbone. Put your knife forward. And ride that backbone. There. And then you're just gonna do the same thing as you did on the other side. Just ride that rib cage, and you'll kind of feel some bones here, but they're not connected, so you can just cut right through them. There's a break that you, if you can get through. That's what you want to do. So the fish isn't dead. You just took its meat off. That does not mean you can let it go and it'll live. But I butchered that fillet. But if you don't want to see your fish suffer, you can do this and and just crack its back and or break its back. See, it's lifeless. Then you can slam them. So if you don't uh, dog, dog, you're stepping on my shoes. Well, then they're dead. Okay, now take your fillet by the tail end and put one or two fingers down at the end. You're gonna have no fingernails. This is hard. You're gonna cut down and get it started. And then I put two fingers there. Keep your knife angled and start cutting. And while you're cutting, then you're left with, when you're left with that, this is skin, you can throw this out in the gut pile. And now you're left with this. So, this is the side. You flip it over to the flat side. Those are gonna be two lines. A mildly red line along the top of the fillet, and the tail section, there is a dark fillet, red line. There's one or two ways you can do this. This is the way that I prefer. Make a little slit to the tail, to the end of the tail on each side of the red line hold the one side including the red line pull down this is bone free that can go in the bucket or in your pail whatever you're using to hold your fillets then you pull the red line down and the other fillet and wherever it rips off it that's where the bones stop see there you go if you really if you're really concerned about getting bones just cut the rest of that red line off like that and then Throw these in the gut pile. This is one fillet out of a bass.
then do the same with the other side. I'll show you the other way to take the bones out. Just a second here. Oh, I got time by bone. All right, second way to get bones out. You can just cut on the each side of the line. You don't get as much meat, but it kind of ensures a more bone-free meat. Don't cut right next to it, so cut bones. Then. You don't want to do that. There you go. That's your tutorial on how to clean any fish without. Pretty much just how to clean a fish like bass any pan fish and how to how to clean it I have, a, I have a shitty camera man he's not keeping the camera straight like a dumbass okay and so this is the tutorial guys enjoy like subscribe i'm out